Hello and welcome to this Learn Learn tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be covering bitwise operations and bit masking. Okay, so first of all, what are bitwise operations? Well, these are fast and simple operations performed by the processor on binary data and it's where each binary digit is treated individually rather than being part of a larger number. And because of this, these, with these little tricks that you can do, substantial processing efficiency can be gained, especially when on using low power systems or uh, simple control systems. Now, these operations, they include AND or NOT and XOR, and they allow us to do a number of different things on the bits. So for instance, here we can check it a bit to see what its value is. So if you want to know whether a bit's value is a one or a zero, we can do that. We can set an individual bit or multiple bits to one. Uh, we can clear bits, which means set a bit to zero, either one bit or multiple bits. And we can to toggle bits as well. So we can either toggle, indivi toggle individual bits. So if it is a one, it will go to a zero. And if it's a zero, it will go to a one. Or we could toggle the whole, um, every single bit within whatever number you're given. Okay, so those are the main things that you can do. Now, bitwise operations, they also include left and right shifts, but we'll be covering that in another video. So today we're going to be focusing on these four. Okay, let's get started. So before we do that, let's just talk quickly about bit masking. Now, bit masking is the technique that we use just so that we only look at or edit uh, or influence the particular bits that we want to. And the way we do that is we use something called a mask, which sounds pretty complicated, but it's really, really simple. All we do is if we've got a, a, a byte here and we only want to work on these two digits, say for instance we're flipping them or we're setting them to zero or something, then what we do is we have a mask where all the digits where we don't want to change them or influence them, we just set those to zero and all the bits within that byte that we do want to have a look at or change or whatever we're going to do, we have them as ones. So this is the mask um, and this is your raw data. So here if we've got the raw data and the mask, the only two digits that we'll be actually affecting are these two here because all the other digits are masked out with a zero. So let's move on to the first one. How do we check a bit? And we, uh, so in order to check a bit, we use uh, an AND gate. There you go, we need AND circuits. Now, just a quick bit of revision here. AND gates are nice and simple. Uh, if you want to, um, if it has two inputs here for a normal AND gate, and the output is only one if all of the inputs, or both of the inputs here, are one. So if both your inputs are off, your output's going to be zero. If one of your inputs are on, either that one or that one, again, the outputs are going to be zero. So there's an AND gate, and we can use that to check some bits using a mask. So for instance here, let's say we're trying to find the value of digit three here. Uh, note when I say digit three or digit four or something, we start counting from the right hand side. So we want to check digit number three, here we go. So we put our mask in place and we only have um, the one there set to digit three because we want to ignore all of these. And then what we do is we do a uh, an AND, a bitwise AND. And an AND gate, it just follows the same rule, rules here, but you do it for each individual digit. So a one and a zero, well, one and zero goes to zero. Zero, zero is a zero. Again, that goes to zero, zero, zero. Uh, and the only, in fact, the only one out of all of here that's going to turn to a one here is this one here, because this one's got a one. So there's our mask. And as a result, here we go. We've got zero, 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 one, zero, zero. There we go. So we know because this one here is a, uh, a one and not a zero that the, the value of digit three is one. And what we would actually do with that number there is we do a binary shift two to the right um, because it's the th third digit here and that would get the one in the rightmost digit here and then we can use it as true or false or whatever we're going to do with it. There we go. So there you can see it now. We've bit shifted it two to the right we know because we're going for digit three, then we need to move it three to the right. And there you go. So there's a one and you can have a one. 
Now you can it works the other way around as well. So let's show you the other example where here we go, example two. Uh, we're going to find the value of digit seven. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can see digit seven here is a zero. So when we run our mask over it, it should only show you the results for zero. So in effect, the whole thing should be a zero. Now, and again, to check it, if you wanted to check that uh, number seven there, uh, then all you'd do is you'd bit shift it six to the right and it moves it along which we'll look in another video and then all you'd have to do is you'd perform some kind of logic on the right hand zero for true or false there we go so that's checking a bit using an and good so let's move on to the next one is how do we set a, a bit so for instance here let's say we're trying to set digit seven here so at the moment uh, we've got digit seven is a zero, but we don't know that and it doesn't really matter. But we want to set digit seven to a one. How do we do that? Well, in this case, we use an OR gate, which we represent by the bar symbol. Now, an OR gate, just to revise, uh, if you've done previously, is an OR gate is not very picky. So if any of these are on, then it will turn on. So the only time an OR gate will turn off is if both of these are zero. So zero, zero goes to zero, zero, one goes to one, one, zero goes to one, and then one and one goes to a one. So it's not really picky. I call it the not picky gate. Um, so what happens when we run this through uh, a bitwise OR gate? Well, a one and a zero, it's not picky, so that will go to one. A uh, zero and a one, well, that will um, again, it's not picky, so it'll go to one. And these again will just stick with what they were one, 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 zero. And that's your result. That's exactly what we wanted to do. We only wanted, uh, wanted to change bit number seven here. So that's the only one that should have changed. And you can see from the OR gate, that's exactly how it works. We just perform an OR individually on each one of these. So what about setting multiple bits to one? Well, that actually is just as easy. So this time, instead of setting a mask with only one digit that's set to one, what we do is here, for instance, we're setting digits five and six to one. So you just set both of them to one. And then again, you run it through the OR gate and that's exactly, you get out exactly what you need. So because it's an OR, if it was already off, it will stay off. But if it was a, uh, if it's here where it's got the one flag, it will flip it to on. There you go. So that's setting multiple bits. Okay, nice and simple. What about if we want to flip a bit? So say for instance here we have, um, we've got this some um, data here, and we want to take whatever here is at number uh, digit three, and whatever it's at, we're going to flip it. Well, we can flip it quite easily using an exclusive OR gate. Now, the, uh, the exclusive OR gate is similar to an OR gate. So if they're both off, then it's off. And if one of either of them is on, then it's on. But if both of them are on, then it flips to off. There we go. So what we can do is we can use an exclusive OR gate, and this will allow us to toggle an individual digit. And you can see it here, because uh, one and zero, well, that's going to stick to one. Zero, zero is going to stay at zero. One and zero is going to stay at one. One and zero. In fact, the only one that's going to be affected is the third digit. And that's really, really good because here, because I've put a one here, if this was a one, then it would go to a zero. But if it was a zero, it would go to a one. So there you go. That's perfect. There we go. So that's how you toggle uh, just an individual digit using an exclusive or. And notice here we have the the um, the hat symbol or the carrot, I think it's called. Uh, that's the symbol for the exclusive or. And let's move on to the next one. So this also another you know it, again it works with multiple digits. So if we want to uh, toggle digits three and digit seven, again we just put our mask in place, just putting in the ones for the ones that we want to toggle. And it will just go through just as it did with the single one and it will just toggle the numbers that we wanted to toggle which is perfect good uh, but what about uh, what about if we want to toggle all of the bits well this actually is even simpler 
all we do do here is we use a not gate. So a not gate, uh, for those people that haven't seen them or have forgotten, it's very, very simple. It only takes one input to a not gate. Uh, whatever it is, it's the opposite of. So if it was a zero, it goes to a one. If it was a one, it goes to a zero. So there's our data. Notice there's no mask this time because we don't need a mask because we're flipping all of the bits or toggling all the bits, whatever you want to call it. So there you go. And that's exactly what happens. You just, every single bit, it flips. If it was a one, it's a zero. If it was a zero, it's a one. So the only thing we haven't covered now is how do we clear a digit? How do we set one digit or multiple digits to zero. Now we can't do it the same way, exactly the same way as we did before using the OR gate to set them to one. Uh, the reason being is the OR gate wouldn't just wouldn't work like that. Well, at least it wouldn't work straight away. So we need to be a little bit more clever. And this is the only one where you need to use multiple gates. So it's a pretty simple process, uh, but it goes in three parts. First of all, you use the NOT gate to flip the bits. So anything that was a zero is a one, everything that's one is a zero. Then you do your bitwise OR, just like before. Uh, and then finally, once you've done your bitwise OR and all of the bit or bits that need flipping have been flipped, uh, sorry, not flipping, setting have been set, then what you do is you flip the bits back. And there we go, which of course inverts the number, um, which means that you can use it. So let me show you that in example. Let's say we've got some data which is one zero 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 there you go and so we go we want to clear digit number five here which is this one to zero. So the first thing we do is we have to invert the digits there you go using the not symbol so anything that was a one goes to a zero anything that was a zero goes to a one then we apply our mask which we would have done before there we go just like in the previous one uh, which then, and then we do the OR, which means, there we go, so just like normal OR here, so if either this one or this one is on, or both, it turns on, so 0, 0, 0, 1, and then 1, 0, 1, 0, and then the very final thing that we do is we just flip it back to the original, and there you can see it, so we should have only have cleared digit 5, they're all the same, they're all the same, and digit five has been cleared. There you go. Okay, so that is a brief introduction to bitwise operations, but it should be enough to get started. Uh, if you look in the comments, I'll put a link to the website where there will be some practice tests uh, and some worksheets and things like that if you need them to have a go. Uh, if you do like the video, then please do like and subscribe. And if you take a look at my site, it's got more resources for computer science there. Thank you very much.